That's way too low. Hi friends. Welcome back to day two of Knittober on the Nitty Bitty Podcast. I realize you guys are going to be seeing me pretty close from day one to day two. Um, but I was having internet issues last night and sometimes it will take a little bit of time to upload a video and sometimes it will take a long bit of time. So I don't think that video uploaded until like two o'clock in the morning. I was definitely asleep when it went up. So it's only been a few hours since I talked to you guys last. I have a headache. I actually think I'm on the brink of a migraine. So I'm not in the best of spirits today, but I definitely wanted to stay consistent and see you guys a little earlier today. So hello, I hope you guys are all doing well. I just got my girls down for a nap and I figured now would be as good a time as I need to chat with you guys because I do have some other things I need to be doing today. Um, so I'm taking a little bit of me time to hang out with you. I have something I'm going to knit, um, but I wanted to show you guys some yarn first because I did go through my stash. And when I first got really into getting like fancier yarn, I would go to this place um, where I lived a couple years ago and it was this really cute yarn shop. It's called Cream City Yarns. It's in Wisconsin. Um, and that's where I'm from. I live in Wisconsin, but I don't live in that area anymore. So I uh, would get yarn from them and they used to have like these cute, this is one of them and I'll talk about this one in a minute. I don't know if this came from that, but it would come like this braided and I would get so confused because I was like, how the heck am I supposed to knit this? So I would get it from the shop and then I'd go home and then I later learned that you need to have it wound up so that you can properly knit it. So I think I'm gonna to go to my local yarn shop possibly today and see if they can't wind any of this up for me um, because I have a lot of really cute stuff and I want to be able to make something with it. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with any of it yet, but I wanted to show it to you guys and maybe you guys can give me a little bit of knit inspiration. Mm. So let's look into it. Sorry if I'm like a little quiet today. I am trying to speak up, but my head hurts. So this is the yarn. This is the first one. This is like oh, so beautiful. I love the gray into the purple into the pink. I mean, just look at that. It's so, so pretty. Uh, let's see what this says. Pure extra fine merino wool, hand painted in Peru. So these take uh, US four needles. This is 100 grams, 450 yards. So I don't know what I would want to do with this. I'm thinking shawl, but I also think like a cabled hat would be beautiful in this. Um, I don't know if I want to do a hat because I think my coat from the winter time is red. So this wouldn't match <laughs> at all. Um, but you already know I love hats, so I just think the cable with this color would be really pretty. Um, this is another really pretty yarn. I'm actually pretty positive. Let me just... Oh. This is called... Uh, what is the name of this? We Can Pickle That. <laughs> love that. I'm pretty sure now that I read that name I'm pretty sure that's why I got this. So I love, I really like random colored yarns but I think once I start knitting for myself uh, pieces in my wardrobe I like more grays, blacks, browns. I like more subtle colors um, with pops. So this would probably be gifted to someone but I don't know what to do with this. This is 100% superwash merino, 400 yards of, um, I think this is, what does this say? Victory fingering? It doesn't say what type of yarn it is. Maybe it does and I'm just not seeing it. Anyway, this is super cute, but I have no idea what to do with this. Not a clue, but we can pickle it. <laughs> I really love that name. Um, this is Wonderland Yarns, Pigments of Imagination, Marianne, Sock and Fingering Weight, 85% um, Fine Merino Wool, 15% Nylon. I'm thinking this will be a pair of socks, um, 
because this is like a really dark color. This is a color I would wear personally, so maybe there's something else I could do with it, but like it's got some browns, it's got some blues and gray, and I, this is totally my vibe when I think of like what would I wear. This is something I would wear, so maybe I shouldn't do socks, maybe I should. Do you guys think that the tin can pattern I mentioned yesterday would be fun in this? Because I still haven't picked a color for that yet. Um, and then this is just some simple gray yarn. What is this? I don't know. Alpaca? 50% super fine alpaca, 50% Peruvian pull. I was actually thinking about making this as a hat for Justin. That's my partner. And this is just a super gray. Nothing special. And last but not least, same brand, Ultra Alpaca, just a pink. And I don't, I don't know what I would do with any of this, honestly. Um, size eight needles, that's usually my go-to for hats. <laughs> Guys, give me ideas that are not hats, please. Otherwise, all of this will be hats, and I feel like that is an injustice to these yarns. Skeins, do you say skein or skein? I've heard that's a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing people get a little touchy about. Uh, does it really matter? That's always what I wonder. How much does it matter? So this is the Stormy Sky Shawl that I'm working on. Um, my life is cozy and I really am liking the way it's turning out. I don't love that it's getting a little too repetitive. So obviously when it's smaller you have to like it goes by quicker and as it gets bigger it goes it starts to slow down um but this is my yarn bowl i've had this for gosh i don't even know how long i've had this for years and uh it's it's got five something 2014 on it cute little on the bottom you can tell it's got some age to it um I got it off Etsy. I'll see if I can find the link to it. Maybe she's still in business. Um, I used to have quite a love affair with Etsy way back when. Um, I got some cute stitch markers too. I'm in need of new stitch markers actually. So um, if you know, I'm sure you know of some really good ones, send me your favorites either here or on Instagram, tag me because I have some in, I have some from Michaels, but they're very plain Jane. Um, and I don't love them because they are like, um, oh, perfect. <laughs> they're these ones. So they, oh, sorry. So they slip off. And I don't like that. <laughs> Maybe for another project that would be fine, but for this one it is not. So, um, yeah, there's that. Anywho, I do have a headache today. I woke up with quite a headache. The weather, it's starting to really get cold here, which is good. I do like cold weather. I love fall. My birthday is um, coming up. It's on the 12th, so I'm excited for that. We don't really have any plans. I'm just planning on potentially going to the pumpkin patch with my kids, uh, weather pending. So nothing too spectacular. Today is um, kind of a chill day. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably getting close to noon. I do need to get ready soon. I know it looks like I'm ready, but I have a job interview later today. Um, so I need to get dressed for that. I just really didn't sleep well. I don't know if other people are like this, but when the weather gets to be... Um, cold uh when the weather starts to get cold like this and it's been really rainy here in wisconsin which is uh slightly abnormal for this time of year i um notice i start feeling more pains i get like really bad neck pain shoulder pain i start sleeping a little worse it's one of my favorite times of year but it's also a little not my favorite time of year <laughs> So it goes without saying that it's a bittersweet season for me, especially because it doesn't feel like fall. It honestly feels like spring, but a cold spring, which here in the Midwest, that is unwanted. We like our seasons as they're supposed to come. We love winter when it's here. We love fall when it's all bright and colorful, but still kind of warm. But this rain, why are we talking about the weather? That's strange. 
Okay, so the socks, I think I told you guys yesterday, I haven't found the proper needles to start that yet. I do need to make some dishcloths, which I know is boring, but I, um, as I said yesterday, I do try to practice a low waste lifestyle and I'm low on uh, dishcloths. I could definitely use some more. My cat's coming from my yard. You better go away, Padme. Um, so I'm just in need of some various sized dishcloths and I have a ton of yarn for it. It's actually all my grandma's. She used to crochet. I don't know if crocheting with, uh, I think it's cotton. Is it cotton? I don't know if that's easier. I know nothing about crochet. It is something I would love to get more into. I do have, um, I do have a couple of crochet hooks around this house, so maybe sometime soon, after I'm done exploring all of the new knitting things, new to me, I will um, get the hooks out, but I am not, I've tried it before, I don't know if it's just because I don't visually know what I'm doing, like I can't count crochet stitches like I can a knit stitch, um, but it's hard for me. Every time I crochet, I try to start and just crochet a square. It always looks like a penis. It always does. <laughs> and I know that's like strange and doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but definitely is just what it is. So um, all of that to say, I have yarn that I need to use to make dishcloths, so that's what I'm going to do with them. I don't really know what else you do with that kind of yarn, the cotton. Let me see if I can go. I can go get it, but my cat is eyeing this up so much. She is... She really loves her yarn. When we first got her uh, a couple of years ago, I had all of my yarn out. I had it all on this really beautiful shelf for everybody to see in our dining room because we never used it as a dining room. And um, she was home with us for like, gosh, I don't know, three or four days and I woke up and well, it had maybe it was a little longer than that. It was when she stopped sleeping in the bathroom because you know when you first get a kitten You don't want them like all over the house So she was sleeping in the bathroom for maybe like the first week and a half that we had her Then we started letting her roam around And when I would wake up there would be yarn all over the floor And I always said I would never get a cat so that I would never have to have that problem but I got her because she was um, going to be sent to a kill shelter so I didn't want her going there and so we picked her up. Sorry, I just need to take a look at this. Um, and we brought her home and she's a good cat, she really is. The yarn is pretty much the only complaint I have, but otherwise she's, she's a good cat. She's a very chill cat, she's not aggressive, um, but I'm not a cat person. Maybe you guys are. Are you guys cat people, dog people, rabbits, snakes, spiders? I am none of the above when it comes to pretty much anything else. I like my um, dogs and even those two. I'm not sure if I will ever... It'll be a while till we get another dog. Definitely to say that. So this shawl, this Stormy Sky shawl, is definitely a great uh, beginner's shawl. I've done one other shawl before and I'm pretty sure the pattern was um, called the easiest shawl ever. <laughs> and uh, when I see a pattern like that it's very appealing to me because I do still see myself as kind of a beginner knitter but in when you have access to YouTube and Instagram and all of these really amazing patterns that are thoughtfully written out it's so easy to try new things. Like this has, gosh, I can't even think of, slip one in front. It might even be, what is this pattern? Uh, what are the ones that I had to look up? Slip one with yarn in front. I had to look that up just because it's a tricky one to read. Um, and then, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, this is super easy. Um, just going back and forth, honestly. So that's kind of a cool thing for me to know that 
I mean, all I have to do is look it up on YouTube. When I first started knitting, I really needed to see it like a lot right, right next to me. And then once I got it, it just made more sense to continue looking it up on YouTube. And there's always been a lot of videos and tutorials since I started knitting, which is crazy to think that it was over like seven years ago. Because I learned how to knit when I was a freshman in high school. And then I really got into it like closer to my senior year of high school. So it's just funny how time works. Let me know when you first started playing in like the fiber arts. Did you knit first? Did you crochet first? Did you sew? I do have a sewing table. And um, I've been watching uh, Squirrel Pie Productions podcast. And she just... Well, I don't think she just did this. I think this was older because I've been watching some of her older episodes from like the past month. Um, and she made a skirt and I really want to start making my own clothes because it is sustainable and I do have a huge, huge, huge bag of yarn, bag of fabric that belonged to my grandma um, and it's just sitting in my garage and the sewing machine is from my aunt and it's an old machine like I don't know if it works 100% but I want to start making my own skirts I really want to find linen pants but I don't know if I should try and make those myself or if I should try and find them thrifted or how I should go about that um, and then the other thing that I do want to try and make is I want to try and make my girls uh, their outfits for the holidays, the winter holidays coming up, and even maybe like Thanksgiving. Um, so I was thinking about trying to do maybe like a knit top for them and then like a fabric bottom. That's what I see in my head, but I don't know if that exists and I don't know if it would be within my skill level within the time frame that I would need to, to make it. Um, because I don't have a whole lot of time to like knit and sew and practice new crafts, especially since I've decided we're now doing this every single day. Um, I mean, it's always something we could try, but I'd have to get the sewing machine in here. And to be completely honest with you, I don't have the space <laughs> for a sewing machine in here. Uh, my filming equipment is starting to take up a large portion of my living room. <laughs> so it just is, um, it's fun. It's definitely fun to be creating. I'm feeling really good about connecting with all of you on YouTube and Instagram, and I've said that before. And you know what? I don't even care if it's one person who watches these or 20 people or 2,000. For me, I feel like I'm in a great headspace creating and just having fun with this, and that was the goal. That's always been the goal behind um, having a YouTube channel was just to have some fun for myself. And I feel like... I've done that and would you know it of all the knitting I did I only did two rows I'm still not done but you know that's that's the joy of it I honestly feel like being able to just sit here and do something that's fairly simple for me I wanted to start my socks but I think I want to start them before I talk to you all about them so that I can give like a true opinion on how it goes um, the pattern I shared yesterday by Tin Can Knits um, is a top-down sock, but I'll be completely honest. I think I want to. Um, I think I want to try a toe-up sock. I don't know if that's weird. I have an extra stitch on this little little something. This is getting to be pretty big. I'm so very excited about it. it. I'm pretty sure this pattern calls to do multiple colors, but just to get like comfortable with it, I did choose to do one color. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit low on my yarn. This is all I have left, but this should be plenty. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. So I think we're gonna call it here. I do need to take a shower and get ready and get my life together. So let me know if you saw any of those, um, any of the yarn that I showed you. Let me know if you saw something that was like, oh, you should try this pattern or oh, this would look good. Cause I am all for it. 
Let's just do a quick little recap of the colors because it's a lot. <laughs> so much goodness. I love it. So yeah, any of these. This one is going to be a hat. This is going to be Justin's hat. He gets a hat. I, um, when I first met him, and that's a whole other story that I will maybe tell you guys in a future video, maybe not. Uh, his birthday's in August, and I wanted to give him something. I don't even know if we were really dating at the time. We might have just been friends. Um, doesn't matter. And I knit him a hat. I knit him a black and blue hat. I'll see if we can't find it sometime and I'll show it to you. Um, anyway, he did wear it for quite a long time. But it, we've known each other long enough that I think he deserves a new hat. So that is all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Knittober Day 2. And I will see you all tomorrow. As always, thank you so much for hanging out.